Hello, everyone. Um, I'm still working on this piece. <laughs> um, hello. Um, I'm Sarah with One of a Second Kind Designs, and tonight I am working on applying transfers to this very large dresser behind me. <clears throat> it is mostly finished. I took the top off this morning. As you can see, it's missing its top here. I took it off and decided to do a paint pour um, for the top. And if you watched my live the other day, you know, I was contemplating um, what to do with the top because the top was wood veneer, but the trim was like a plastic or a laminated, I don't know. So I know that staining, those two were not going to stain to look the same. Plus there was kind of some weird, like dark spots on the veneer. And typically I like to keep some wood and the grain was really pretty, but I wasn't sure how to remove those black spots. Um, and I was actually sanding a little vigorously right in those areas and I could see I was going through the veneer. So I just said, you know what, let's just do a paint pour. So I poured acrylic paints on that this morning. It's up on sawhorses in my workspace and I'm letting the paint dry. And then hopefully tomorrow or Saturday I'll pour the epoxy. So it'll have that kind of faux marble look for the top. Um, so here is it like mostly finished. It turned out really good. I did a little bit of um, stamping on the sides and I need to do a little another coat of paint inside of here um, and I did a coat of paint in here by or I painted them I should say a different color than the uh, body this is uh, again the melange paint in uh, nom de nom de plum <laughs> I think that's how you say that nom de plum so kind of a, a soft white with maybe a little maybe a little gray undertone to it. Um, so that's what I did in here. And this piece is not exactly spoken for. However, I have a client who's very interested in it. So um, when she told me her style, um, I decided to go ahead and paint it in that direction and hoping that she loves it and wants to purchase it. Um, so I know that the colors in this particular room is you know, this kind of soft blue. And then she's got some like deeper purples and pinks. Um, also going on in the room. So I was thinking this transfer here, it is a Macy and Willow transfer. It's by Prima. It's called uh, Floral Poems. So there it is there. Can you see that? Here, I'll just hold it up. How about that? Two sheets. Okay, that's the bottom sheet and the top sheet. So it seems like it'd be pretty straightforward, except that I'm applying, trying to apply it to these three drawers in the way that it looks in the picture. Um, so obviously with these gaps, it's going to be a challenge. Um, I actually kind of hate this part a little bit because like if you get it on, you don't like it or you're, it's crooked, um, which I've had that happen. I just like have to sand it off or remove it and start over. So I get a little bit nervous when I'm putting transfers on something like this kind of odd <laughs> spacing here because I would like the flower to show for sure, the flowered center. And of course it's cut right in the middle. So I have to worry about seeing my seams and such too. So I want to make sure I'm careful, but you know, I want that flower to be right there, but that drawer doesn't, isn't quite large enough to accommodate. Well, it is if I just position it correctly. So we'll do this together and see how, <laughs> how well it goes. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'm not right in front of the camera while I'm doing this because I tend to get really dead center make sure I'm straight. So, um, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this here. I think I'm, I got some tape here. I just kind of want to tape up and see where, because I would like, like this section to stay on that top drawer and be like centered. I don't want it way down here, but I'm going to have to cut this flower probably out. Um, so I'm thinking about there. I'm not, I know I'm not going to get all the words on there. That's fine. That looks, I think, centered to me. Uh, let me stick up some pieces of tape. I don't know how many of you have worked with transfers. I probably should kind of start with like the basics here. 
Um, you know, transfer is just basically the, a very thin type of applique you can add. Hi, Sarah. Um, and what was I going to say? Um, so it's on this, the actual transfer is attached to this clear suit here. So when you pull it away, it pulls away from the backing film that kind of protects it. Um, this is so, you know, it's on there so it protects it, doesn't just stick to anything, and you can kind of play with your placement. And then when you're ready to apply your transfer, you need to peel that backing sheet and position it on there. And once you stick it, you generally cannot pull it back off um, without some of the transfer, you know, sticking. So you can't really reposition it once you've stuck it down. You do need to make sure your paint is really dry, a good 24 hours of it being dry, because um, that can affect the transfer going on. Um, there's always like the question of do you need a top coat first or can you just apply it straight to your paint? You can do either. I have done both. I have found that if I have a dark paint color and I'm applying the transfer, if I seal it first with the polyacrylic, um, I see less halos. So, you know, especially like these wordings here, the, the, the lettering, I know you can't see it, but you know, they're individual like words. So there's the, the transfer part, I don't know how to explain this, but the transfer part has like this, the, the, the sticker, right? So it has like this halo. Um, and you can sometimes see that against dark color. So if you seal first, apply your transfer, that halo is not so evident. The halo just, it just makes it look more like a sticker. So you want to minimize that halo. Um, but I have found on light colors that that halo, you don't really see it. So then I just apply it straight to the paint, um, the dried paint, of course, and then seal over top of that. Um, okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Looking in the camera. Yeah, that is, it is gorgeous. I've never used it. I don't know how I haven't used it. Um, I love it. It's, I feel like it's fitting. I mean, I'm not a huge like purple fan, but I, I think it is fitting. I've played with a few different ones and this one just seemed to work. Um, <clears throat> okay. So I just want to get my placement right before I stick it on here. So like I said, I know I'm going to, I want this flower. I think what's going to have to happen is I'm going to cut this right now while this is stuck up here. I'm going to literally cut out from here up. So then I can get this part centered down here on this drawer better, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. It's already taped up. I'm just going to kind of start cutting because I can see the drawers. I need to debate if I want this part on the drawer. Just here's the drawer and it comes down right here and goes up. I think I just want this on the drawer. And then um, I'm trying to debate here. If I want this pattern back here, it's gonna show a little bit. Let's just cut it out here. We'll see. So I'm just going to kind of cut that part all off as best I can. Well, because I think, let me see, I want that to stay there. And then just start cutting right where my drawer is, right here. Oh, my kids, they just turned my light off in my garage. <laughs> Hold on. Don't turn my light off. I'm surprised they're not out here screaming. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Gosh, I don't know if I want to. Okay. <clears throat> this is why I don't do these live, because I'm like, I don't know exactly where I want it. Super unconventional way, right, of doing this. <laughs> okay, I hope this is making sense to you guys, because <laughs> I want all of the flower kind of here. Um, it's hard because this part, like it, it's hard to cut around that without cutting the flower and the wording. Um, so may have to roll with that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
know that I don't know how much I don't know where to cut it off at so it doesn't look funny <laughs> like if I was trying to cut some of this off maybe not I don't think so it's gonna line up right there so this is really gonna be fun let's see Trying to debate if I need to cut any more or not. Um, that looks pretty good. Where's that bottom drawer? So I am gonna lose some of the flower right here. And I can't really. I can move it up a little bit because that seam. So I'm gonna lose some of the flower, and I think I'll just leave that. I'll just leave all of that. I think. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Okay, so let's start with the top piece. Um, let's start with the top piece. I was just trying to debate. I wanted to... I think I need to cut that guy out. I made a mistake and I cut a little too much right there. If you guys can see this, what I'm doing here. So I may need to just, that's okay. I can apply it and then that little chunk that it's missing right here where I overcut off, I'll just, I can probably get that applied after the fact. So let's go ahead and place this one up and I even need to cut these sides off because that's obviously not gonna show either. I had my straight razor, I just cut those, but I don't have it out here right now. I want to make sure that's nice and straight. Look straight to you guys. Because <laughs> once I peel this backing sheet, this you know this area where I don't want to stick can stick down, so it's just best to just cut all that off, whatever you're not using. Um, but I need to make sure before I cut it off that I'm in the right spot. Otherwise, you're cutting it off and then you're trying to reattach it. And you just see my drawer behind it. It won't be a perfect cut. I usually use a straight edge and just cut it, but I want to cut off the excess right now. Okay. I'm hoping that it is like centered and straight, guys, because I. I can't really tell. Okay. So my excess is cut off. We'll just cut this little snippet off here. I don't need him right now. So I'm going to leave all that. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick that one up, shall we? All right. Scary part, right? It's exciting and scary. Especially because knowing me, I will mess up because someone's watching me. So <laughs> we're gonna peel that sheet. All right, so there's your transfer. And of course my fingers are sticking all over it. And try to get it back to kind of where I had it. So once I kind of push it down, it's there. I'm actually bringing it down a little bit so I don't have to worry about filling in that spot where I kind of overly cut it off. Okay, so you can tell I'm really debating here if that's centered or not. I tend to overthink, like, is it centered? Is it straight? Okay. All right. I moved it down a little bit, um, but I think I like that better. So I'm just kind of pressing down right now. Obviously, I've got some excess right there. Um, 
and they cut off probably, yeah. Okay, so let's grab my little tool. Where'd it go, where'd it go? This comes with the transfer, by the way, this little guy, just a wooden stick, like a popsicle stick. So, um, then we're just gonna start pushing it down. I really need to grab my straight edge so I can cut that off, actually. Because what's going to happen when I pull the transfer is this is going to want, this is like this part that's hanging, that's touching nothing is attached to the part touching the furniture. So when you pull it off, it tends to like, it doesn't have anywhere to go. So it just kind of rolls up on itself. So you want to just like trim off all of that. I need to grab my straight edge. Um, hold on guys. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can find it quickly. I don't know where it is. Of course. Found it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate that. I have to leave. Okay. Okay. So I do want to just kind of cut off, or at least snip off. Oh, geez. Of course it's being difficult. <laughs> of course it's being difficult. Because it would be easier to just cut it with my scissors here. At least as close to the edge as I can get it. I'm not going to use that part, so I'm not worried about saving it. But that did not want to come off very easily. Normally I would pull these out too and just do it the other way, but because I'm on camera here, Hard to position the camera down, I guess you guys can see. Give me just a minute, let me cut this stuff off here. Like I said, if I don't cut it off and I go to pull this back, then it try, that, those pieces are gonna kind of flop around, so I don't want that. Um, okay, that's normally how it goes, much better. <laughs> Hi Susie, how are you? Okay, all right, let's try that again. Sorry guys, so I've already kind of pressed it down and at this point, I'm gonna to start to pull it up and more than likely in some places, it is not gonna stick down. So pull slowly um, because if you see that it's not sticking, you're gonna to wanna to push it back down and keep pressing, especially if these words, they're always a little finicky. So. If I don't know if you can see that as I'm pulling this up, I'm still keeping my little wooden stick kind of pressed and I'm still rubbing. I'm going to get you in really close. My fingers are gross, so I apologize from the paint poured earlier today. And I've just been beating them up, so they've been bleeding. And Okay, so hopefully you can see what I mean, but sometimes it doesn't like right there. <clears throat> That's not sticking down. 
So <coughs> I'm pushing, I'm rubbing it on as I'm pulling up that sheet. But don't get too ahead of yourself. Just kind of work a section at a time. Especially these words, because they're all individual little, you know, like pieces. They're all their little own pieces. So it's not like it's just one continuous sheet, I guess, right there. You have to, what usually happens is a letter will go missing at one point because I don't get it stuck down or it rolls. When you pull the sheet up, sometimes it does that. Especially if you pull it too far away and it's half attached to the furniture and half attached to your backing sheet. Okay, here's a good example of kind of what I mean by that. So do you see that down there? It's just hanging out there. <laughs> so that's fine. I mean, I could push it up under my furniture or up under the drawer. But that's why I mean you kind of want to have your clean edges because then the transfer came off this sheet, but it's just kind of hanging there on nothing right now. This is seriously like an arm workout. You don't have to push super hard, but just the same motion <laughs> for like 20 minutes rubbing these on it can be a little tedious. It's looking good so far though, right? So yeah, I'll probably just push that little section under the drawer, it's fine. Move back a little bit, my legs are falling asleep. Okay. learn something though. If I apply pressure right at that edge, it almost like cuts cuts off the transfer. So then it's not hanging out there. See, now that it just cut the edge and left it on the sheet here. So I just needed to press my ed press my paddle against that edge really good and it kind of just like breaks the train breaks it apart from the piece that's stuck here. If that makes sense. All right, so who on here speaks, I bet this is French if I had to guess. Anyone speak French? It's been like to joke that um, I would put French words, I put French words on everything even though I don't know what they say and that it could say something super stupid and that I would, <laughs> I would still think it looks cool, <laughs> which is probably true. I'm trying to make more of an effort to know, to know what they, because I get of course a lot of clients that will say, well, what does it say? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's Google it. <laughs> Or I'll get the ones that do speak the language and they'll say, you know, your sentence doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, well, I don't really care. Should care, but I don't care. All right, so far so good, but my arm hurts. So just gonna fold that under there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good idea to cut. Uh, where did my scissors go? Cut off some of this as we go. I'm 
Oh, that one folded onto itself. I don't know. I must not have been paying attention right there. Did a little folding. You can see that it's just not as the the curve is a little broken there, but that's okay. So we're almost there. We can do that second section, which is going to be really challenging, I'm sure. It's important not to get in a hurry when you're doing this. It's so easy to get in a hurry. Um, but you really got to take your time so you don't get bubbles and so you don't get sections of it missing because you pulled this sheet up too quickly. fun to watch I know but I don't know that I've ever done a live actually applying transfers so I figure any you know newbies or anyone who hasn't really used them might benefit from this it's not like they're difficult to use they just can be a little stressful because you know they do cost 20 30 dollars and you don't get them on right it you kind of have to start over again, pull them off and repaint. It's not super easy. Um, and then there's the whole fact that you, you know, sometimes people put them on and I just feel like they look so like, like they don't belong on the piece or they just don't look like they were placed in the right area. So then there's the whole fact that you, sometimes you need to like cut them up and play with the placement. That takes me the longest. It's sitting there like, figuring out where I want to place it because I don't always want to stick it up there just how it is um, how it comes in the roll sometimes I want to cut out certain parts um, and it just it just takes a while to make it to make it look like it, it belongs there I guess Almost there. Last bit here. Just being careful at the end to not pull too fast. Okay, perfect. I'll have it curve around the drawer a little bit. Um, so if you see like any bubbles, like this one in particular, not so much because these are just super little individual pieces of the transfer, but sometimes a big section you'll get bubbles um, and you'll want to try to smooth those out with your finger a little bit kind of, and then if you can't seem to get rid of the bubbles, you can stick a little pin in them and pop the bubble because you don't want the bubble because when you top coat, the polyacrylic can get under the transfer. You don't want it to get under the transfer anywhere, anywhere. So I take my finger and just kind of smooth it down, make sure it's sticking really well. So that way when I top coat over it, it the poly doesn't get under the transfer and cause like pulling and cracking and things like that. So um, Redesign Crema has a little burnishing pad that you can use. I find it almost a little too abrasive sometimes. So I find my finger works well. This one was pretty easy actually. So. Okay, that looks good. I'm more worried about this second part because I don't, I'm hoping I can, <laughs> it's got a seam. That's a tricky part. Um, so you gotta line them up just right. And I still need to decide like what makes sense with this guy here. And then if, if this, I guess it doesn't matter. We know they're not lining up. Like it's not perfect. Um, that's why I was like, should I just cut out as much as I can around these flowers and get rid of that? But then I feel like that might look kind of funny too. So I can't decide. I can't decide what to do. If anyone has an opinion <laughs> of what you think would work, I just don't know if I want to cut all that out.
Another thing that I've heard helps to minimize this like um, this line because you're gonna have kind of have to there's gonna be a line and if you want to minimize that um, I, you can cut it off just cut right you can you can't see it on the camera but you'll see where the transfer ends and then there's like this clear um, that's the adhesive that helps it stick to your piece so there's that clear like adhesive line there cut that off so then that way you don't see it and see the seam which I'm gonna do here I'm gonna cut it off I'm just still can't figure out Let's see. I do want all this thing to be at the bottom. Okay, well, I'm going to cut that seam right now, actually. Which you won't really see on camera unless I point my, let me try to point my camera down here. Leave it, don't cut it. I think there's enough space in the drawers. No one will notice. It's not perfectly lined up. Oh, you think so, Sarah? Um, you're talking about the seam? The, you don't think we'll see it? I don't think I will either because it's not, it's a light pink color. So I was kind of thinking the same thing. I usually cut, the, I usually cut it just because I'm worried I will see it. What are you, you were talking about the seam, right? So don't cut either piece. I think there is two because see, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go right about there and then there's the bottom of the drawer so and then I want to move this down slightly so I need to cut that now as well I need to cut this bottom sheet um, well not right the second but I will okay Sarah if you're saying not to I'm gonna trust you I always cut it um, <clears throat> Okay. Oh, cut the seam, not the background part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. I was like, wait, I always cut the seam. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about cutting. Okay. Let me cut it. So, point goes down if my thing doesn't fall over. Okay. Let's cut this out here. It's hard to see. I'm basically just cutting right along the edge here. Oh my gosh, my nails look terrible, you guys. And my it's actually my cuticles that look terrible. <laughs> Beating myself up. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate you hanging in there with me and telling me that. I think it'll look okay too. I know it won't look perfectly lined up, but like you said, because of the gap, no one's really gonna like notice. Okay, so let's do this next piece. I'm actually just gonna take this tape off. That distracts me when I'm pla placing it. I'm try not to touch your fingers all over, but it's no difficult. Um, all right, so what do we think? I can tell this was like lined up there at one point. So I'm just bringing it kind of straight down. Gosh, is that straight? I can't tell. It looks crooked to me. But okay, there, that looks better. I like way overthink this part right here. I've just done too many where I'm like, Crooked, and then I stand back and I'm like, oh, I'm off. Okay. I'm going with it. Straight or not straight. Um, okay. I'm just cutting the excess excess off right now here. Okay. No one ever noticed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, it'll bother me more when I know. Like, 
there's so many times I'm super critical of myself and my work and I will see that one or two flaws I made and it'll bug me but and then of course I'm an idiot and I point them out to people and they're like I've never even noticed it <laughs> and then they probably just see it all the time too okay well it looks pretty straight I guess I could stick this guy up I think it's pretty good Yeah, it's probably a little far over to one side, but that's okay. All right, let's get this one on. So like this thing is pretty much one big part, okay? And then this is all kind of different attachments. So once I get to here, this will just kind of pull off pretty fast. But here I need to make sure it gets stuck down good. So just kind of lifting, but keeping my wooden stick here pressed against wherever I'm lifting just to ensure it's, it is sticking down. I'm afraid my phone's going to die at one point. Let me look at my battery. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> For now, that 20%. This is really where you can get the bubbles. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get any of those. And then I'm gonna roll this little piece up on the top here. Okay. And there is a bubble right there. Shoot, okay, I smoothed it out though. And this gets like super, like you have a lot of it and it's getting heavy. Sometimes if I let it go, it'll pull and I'm not ready to have the transfer be released. So I'll just cut off that excess so I don't let it pull down on my transfer. That's not attached. I was trying to debate if I wanted to cut this little guy. It's hanging over the edge here. truth really is this next part where I have to line them up um, and some, do some cutting so I can make sure I can line up the bottom piece. Alright, what do we think so far? Okay, let me cut the seam. On the second or third sheet, last sheet, guys. See if we can make it all the way to the end here before my phone dies. So I'm just gonna cut this off right here.
Okay. Does anyone have any questions so far? <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we can figure this part out. So we gotta line them up so it makes sense on this drawer. And then, but I think what I wanna do though is, oh, it does look pretty. Um, there is the top of the bottom drawer. It actually might be okay. I kind of wanted that word, demore, to fully be on there. So again, I need to cut. A little really cut because I do do that sometimes, but probably right about just under the flower, basically. I need to cut. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to mark. I should have like a pin or something. I can mark it or a tape measure. <laughs> I can just that make more sense actually. A tape measure can just measure what this is from here to the bottom. Um, tape measure, of course. <clears throat> I'm going to take measure. I think I have one on this table. Sorry, guys. I keep getting up. But that would make more sense. Me trying to guess. Oh, there it is. Right behind me. <clears throat> so, I've got... I mean, we could just say three to be safe. Just under, just like, two... And a quarter ish, so just want to get like a little snip, snip a little bit off with my scissors and then cut along that line. And I'm probably going to cut just a little bit more there, so I just cut where it should just kind of end at the bottom of the drawer, just past the bottom of the drawer. I think that's why I'm going to double check it. Oh, no, I lied. See? Did I measure wrong? Did I measure wrong? That is right, perfect, actually. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, let's see if I can cut that straight. I am not good. Who else is not good at cutting straight? I cannot cut straight to save my life. Did you see when I wrap wrapping paper or when I wrap presents? <laughs> it's terrible. Nope, nope. Baby, I'm on film right now, honey. Okay. Huh? Oh, I'm just double checking that to make sure I didn't cut too much off. Okay, it's actually good. As long as I don't go crooked. Maybe I'm almost done. I'll be in. Oh my gosh, it's hard to go straight. Okay, that's way crooked, but that's okay. I think I'm still safe. Yeah, I'm still good. Because I'm not going to use those words, at least not very many. I'm not going to use that end. Oh no, you know, I just realized this. Let's see, where do they line up at? Where do they line up at exactly? Here is the hard part. It's really... Lining it up. Okay, here's the other thing. You don't want to put tape over the transfer you've applied. <laughs> okay? Because it'll pull your transfer off. I was going to try to uh, tape it up there just so I could cut off these edges. These edges here where I have the excess. 
I always get nervous cutting. Like I'm going to cut too much off and I'm going to be mad. So, but I need to cut that off because it's just too much. Uh, I'll just get at least a little bit of it off. Better than nothing, right? Okay. Can't cut a straight line for nothing. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. And I'm like burning up. So let me get this sweater off. Yeah, I like the um the wrapping paper with the grids on it. <laughs> like, why didn't someone come up with this sooner? Okay, we're gonna try to line this up. Um I can't get you in much closer. Woo! The camera's going wonky on me. Okay. Alright, um, look, I got all that excess down there too, so that's a bummer. I'm gonna cut that off. Alright, let's go ahead and get the second sheet on. This is the hard part because you gotta make sure it lines up like everywhere, and I tend to overlap them just slightly. Still on the camera thing here. Can it come out? Yes, then it can come out. But what if I stay right here, Dad? If you stay right there and be quiet. Okay. It's so weird. It lines up in one spot and then not the other. Here we so that makes me think I went. Let's see. It's lining up down here, but then when I look down at this end, it's not lined up. Um. So maybe that's on purpose. <laughs> Like pick or choose which area do you want it to line up? I don't know. I know. Oh, you know? Yeah. My four-year-old knows, you guys. Okay, that look. I mean, it's not lined. It's so crazy. It's lined up down here, perfect. I'm gonna try to pull it off. Ooh. So I need to decide where, cause it is not lined up down here. At least not to my eye. Yeah, yeah. I know where it is. Hey. <laughs> Kids, I don't even know where to choose to line it up. Seriously. Yeah, I know. I don't want to line it up though. You know where to line it up, buddy? I'm gonna go with right there, you guys, because this this is not lined up on this end. Who are you just supposed to Who are you way? talking to? I'm talking to myself. I'm always talking to myself, right? No. All right, I want to show you what I mean. I'm just going to push it down, guys, because I'm going to have to commit, I think. Maybe it's the transfer. We'll blame the transfer. Because I feel like... Mom, is this Here, that? can I bring you in closer? Can Mom, I flip the camera? Stuff that is the, the hey, does anyone camera? know? Sarah, I don't know if you're still on. Do you know how to flip? No, don't stuff. spray that. I need to figure out how to flip the camera when I'm live. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, to me, that is not lined up. Is that lined up to you guys? But, like, down here, that's pretty lined up, right? So, maybe, I don't know, that just spot looks off to me. Doesn't it? <laughs> but everywhere else looks pretty good. See, there's a little rippling right there. Okay, so, we're just going to commit to that. All right, let me put you guys back up on here. Okay. Oh, let me cut this off on the bottom. I don't think I'm going to need it, but I'm going to just not stick that down on the floor too much because I want in case I need it on this next part.
on there. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. I have been working all day. I'm exhausted. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here trying to do this, but well, I just well, get in the mood like, and. Oh, that's right next to my staging wall. That's perfect. Why? <laughs> no, what? We literally have no wall space left in this garage. It is pathetic. And my son wants to hang up his um, baseball bats and tennis rackets. And we got this little thing to hang on the wall. But I like looked around and was like, there is nowhere to hang. No, literally, nowhere to hang. I either have its staging wall or its furniture or there's like there a huge pile of scrap wood and a uh, boxing there stand. What do you call those? Punching bag stand. Punching thing. That I wish we'd get rid of. And a big gun safe. Like, <laughs> I told my husband, I was like, okay, I've taken over the garage, so your gun safe and your punching bag need to go. <laughs> they're in the way. Oh my gosh, sure. I'll come in and um, you have a few, and that's it. There's one that was fitted out. Yeah, I dropped that on the floor. Nope. See, like, to me, that doesn't line up. So I needed to move over. So that kind of bugs me. But I don't know what else I would have done. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get that part. Put some back. It's perfect everywhere. <laughs> so I don't get it. Who else had that problem? Anybody else had that problem with transfers where it lines up on one end and not the other? Too hungry. I put a sweater on the dirty floor. Because I got hot. I took it off. Put it away so it doesn't get dirty. Okay. And don't put socks on the gloves. Okay. I'm really curious if I want to see this that scene. That looks beautiful. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah, I really can still see that scene, you guys. We've been cutting that off i'm still seeing it so i don't know if it's just because it's so white flowered it's more obvious or i don't i don't know again i've never used this transfer and half the time when they're in sheets like this i don't use them like how they come i just cut pieces up and i try to avoid see <laughs> try to avoid doing this having to line them up and seam them stick together i definitely still see the line i'll get you guys closer yeah, Rosie. So Leah's, um, what was it? Her mantra Monday about like just finishing up projects. Like it really hit home for me. I was like, oh, I have all these projects that I've like started to paint six months ago or whatever. And I put them in the corner because I didn't like the direction it was going or I didn't know what else I wanted. To. Anyway, so I just have like four projects that they're just sitting in my workspace with blankets over them and they're taking up space. And it's like, just finish them. So yeah. I've not been sleeping much. Kids, you know, out of school as of tomorrow at 11.45. So Mom, like, let me wake up and go to school and then make, make, make the party, okay? Okay. Make the party. So, yeah, I just want to get as much as I can without the kids being home. Because once they're home, you know, I have three of them. And they're all little. So, it's a lot of... Me, I'm good. not done. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily my husband's off of work. Um, for two weeks as well, so I'm already commissioning him to work on some pieces with me. Hot dog. So I definitely see the line, you guys, even though I cut it off, cut that seam. I really thought I wasn't going to see the line, but I do see it. I'm a sh do you guys see it? Hold on, I'll bring you in closer. I definitely see it. It kind of bugs me a little bit. Maybe it's just because we know it's there. Six or eight things in various stages. Yeah, pretty much. I pretty much always have at least three or four. Okay, let me flip this. See? All right, somebody tell me it doesn't look as bad as how I'm seeing it. Like, it almost looks like they're different colors. <gasps> Do you see that? Are they supposed to be that way? This side doesn't look... Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think they're different colors, you guys. Whoops. Well, it still looks pretty, but it looks like it's different colors, and that's why it's more apparent. And that that seam is still there. So I know I'm not showing you a great live on how to avoid the seams here, but 
I tried. I'm going to blame the transfer. <laughs> it's still a pretty transfer, but that did not work out like I was hoping. So again, I don't, that, I think that's why it's so noticeable because it's a different color. Like this side, this looks the same. This is way different. So I don't, I don't know what I would do to fix that. Anyone have any suggestions or does this happen to anybody else? That's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> this one, I don't even know that I'm going to cut mine. I'm just going to stick it on here. It's got a lot right here cut off. Actually, I am going to cut the bottom just so I can move it up slightly. I hope I straightened out. Susie, have you, are you still on here? Have you used, you use transfers, right? Does anyone ever have that happen? I have, I, I have been using transfers for like oh, three years. I don't know that I've ever had that color variation difference. You step back, you know, yeah. But you do see it, right? I'm not crazy. Hey, who's my friend in party? transfer kind of oh okay so Sarah you're saying to blend wax over this area this two areas that are not the same color and you're saying like a clear a clear wax yeah I'm talking about clear wax I don't know I don't know that that would work I mean that those are in my I mean they look totally different so I don't even know if unless I repaint and try to pick, like color Find a paint color that matches one of these and paint the other one. That's too detailed for me to go over. But you can do that. I've done that where I've crashed transfers and just fill in with a little bit of paint. I don't know if you could, Sarah. I don't I don't think so. It's a pretty big color difference, I think. I don't know. I'm disappointed. I didn't notice it before. That's why I'm like, now I wish I could see it on the sheet because I didn't remember it looking like that. And this whole this whole thing is one solid color. It's not like it's the paint. Um I, I mean, I, there was a transfer, but it was a Dixie Belle transfer that it's a lace one and it's famous for it not matching up in color. Um, there's a lot of people that comment about it not matching in color. So I had to use that one. way crooked to me. I might need, seriously, I'm going to step, stand up and step back really quick and see if that looks crooked or not. It looks really pretty. I mean, I like it if I don't stare at that area for too long. <laughs> um, I think it looks good. I don't think it's crooked. Might need to go up just a little bit on that. And of course, I can stuff it down, so I don't know if I can lift it. Okay. Oh, I get it. Those words aren't the bottom. I'm looking at the bottom are not perfectly straight, so I need to stop looking at that. Well, when I get to the track, I want to do that. Because it's like another sentence. It's like the bottom that is off. 
Oh gosh, that it looks worse. Um, gosh, that is hard to tell. It's because this drawer is low. I'm gonna get right in front of you guys for a second. Sorry, the back of my head, because I gotta get more straight on with it here. Oops, I did pull some off a little bit. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie Daisy. Cause this has Whoopsie Daisy. I don't know. I need to stop obsessing. I think it looks good enough. <laughs> yeah. I think that looks it does, good. It does, it does, it does. It does look good, buddy? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's my entertainment. You should be going to bed soon. Alright, well, let's get this part down. I'm going to cut some of this off. No, here. no, no, no. Oh, yeah, we have one more sharp and then them. That is $15. Well, I don't know what you Okay, don't, what are you playing with? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. last piece, guys, and we are done. Bring this a little lower. You stupid grandma. Hey, quit. You knocked your phone out. Stop. <laughs> Dude. Hey, be careful, baby. I'm really excited to see this top go on here. I'm hoping I can pour the resin tomorrow, but that paint's going to take a while to dry. It usually takes a full day after an acrylic pour because it's really thick. And I did it inside because the humid, like it's, the weather is insane. I don't know about you guys, but this weather is like, we went from, you know, freezing temps to 80 and like 90% humidity to then, like this morning I went out there, it's crazy humid, and then we went into Hobby Lobby, and at, when we came out of Hobby Lobby, so it was like a 20 degree, it felt like a 20 degree difference. Um, it just cooled way off. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's annoying when you're trying to refinish furniture, because I'm never sure, like, if I, you know, I gotta plan ahead, really, to make sure, like, what days I can spray outside. Oh, so I have an idea. You don't want good, you don't want high humidity, and you don't want Mom, really cold temperatures Mom. when you're spraying, especially, like, the top I idea. I idea. Um, I didn't show the top, Susie. Did not. It's inside. I can take you guys inside if you want to see. I actually posted it on my stories. I just figured out how to do stories on my Facebook <laughs> I've been doing them on my Instagram. I've never had them on my Facebook. Um, so I did a story of the top. Um, and I actually did a whole video, which I'll just like speed it up and post it of me doing the actual pour. It's pretty. It's one, you know, it's one I've done before the same type of colors. And then be careful. It's just white and pearl and silver and gold paint, acrylic paints, metallic paints. So I pretty well knew how it was going to turn out just because I've done others very similar, same colors, I guess. Emmett, stop, baby. Careful. So, yeah, I'm excited to see. I really would have liked to have left the wood, but even, like, looking at the piece with the wood, it just felt like 
they just didn't like they didn't go together or something. Normally, I feel like it does. I don't know if it's the texture of this, and it just doesn't. I wasn't feeling the wood anyway, and with the damage on the top and that stupid plastic trim, it's like ah, I'm just gonna do a paint pour. the bottom part here yeah it turned out really good I was super stressed out doing it I gotta say I'm always stressed out doing those because I feel like if you mess them up or it doesn't turn out and you can't control really that outcome of those they just kind of do what they want I mean you can control it in the sense like you know the colors you know what it's gonna look like in the colors but sometimes like I, I didn't want very much gold and I didn't put very much gold in it but yet the whole thing was like really gold <laughs> So I was having to kind of dump off as much excess gold as possible because I wanted it to look more white um, and metallic, just really white in colors. So I didn't want it to overpower this. I didn't want the top to just look like that's all you noticed. So, um, but I think it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. We're getting different colors. Which color do you guys like? <laughs> there. Like I was noticing, I watched some of my own live, and <clears throat> it looks really, the paint color here looks really blue sometimes on this film, but it's really soft. Um, it's really soft. It's, it's just like a, it's almost like a pretty mix of a soft blue and a soft green, like a mint, minty type of color. It's, it's really pretty. So you guys can see how time consuming these can be. <laughs> it's no joke. Oh, we're so close. So close, so close. I just want to see it all done. I don't think I'll do anything on these inside of these doors. You guys tell me what you think, but I think just leaving it. I tend to not want to overly do. Well, of course, look at me. I'm like, oh, I put texture well, on it, and I've got a marble foam. Well, what nail did you do? <laughs> I'm kind of overdoing well, this. What, one. Mom, what, baby? What nail did you do for the ham? Tell the, me. the really big ones, but don't Eat don't ones? hammer. No, bigger ones, but don't hammer into the walls. Why? Uh, because we don't want any more holes in the walls. Okay, I think we're there. I think we're there. Whew, we're done. I don't like that little cutoff right there. I feel like I should have just got, got rid of that thing right there. I think I may. Um, let's see. Has anyone removed a piece of a transfer? Right here. I think I've heard mineral spirits. Yes, but don't hammer that in the wall. I think I've heard mineral spirits might take. I just want to take this part off right there. There. You can put that baseball mm -hmm. somewhere. What do you think, Susie? You're such a trooper hanging in with me. <laughs> like that guy right there. See? I just want to get ready to get rid of that. Um I didn't even notice that. So I made sure I don't I I think I've heard mineral spirits. I'm not sure we'll take off. So there it is. You want me to step back a little bit more and you guys can kind of see the whole thing what I've done so far. So again, I need to do another coat of paint on the insides here. Top is obviously missing right now, but I think I'm basically done. I may do a little bit of gold, gold leafing flex, um, but there it is. So on the sides I did, oh, you may not be able to see without my hair. Here, let me go on the other side. And I don't hammer, please. So just some stamping which I may do more, I haven't decided, but just, I didn't want it to look perfect. I was just going for like a, you know, you almost have to like really look and see if there's something there. So those are some stamps we've done with some um, acrylic paints. So there it is. That looks more like the true color that I'm standing back and I have the soft light on it. 
That looks like true color to me. So I was doing a little bit of gold leafing. Emmett, stop hammering. And don't hammer on the table. There's like some gold leafing. So do you guys want me to take you inside real quick and show you the top? It's in my super messy, super messy workroom. I think it looks yeah, good. What do you guys think? I like it. Yes, I'm happy. And there's the mess. Okay, so I'll take it real quick. If you want to see it, it's drying process, and then I'll hop off of here. Okay, I need to go through my dirty house here. And here it is. So there's the top. So, didn't turn out too bad. Oh, those are neat, buddy. So, just gonna let this dry, hopefully overnight, and then tomorrow I can pour the resin. This my mess, I need to clean up tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm gonna hop off of here. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me through the transfer. Um, I hope that you learned something new, maybe. And you, Sarah, I really appreciate your help, too, with, with the transfer. Um, so you guys enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, Susie. Thank you for hanging on with me. Oh, how do you reattach it? Screws. It's just screws. That's that's the only way it was on, um, like 10 or 12 screws. So we just got under there with a teeny tiny screwdriver, and that was it. It's pretty simple. It was super heavy, and there's no way I could have done it without removing the top because lifting that dresser, I mean, that dresser's like, 200 pounds if not more it was it's very heavy and I had to lift it to kind of let some of that paint run off so um yeah I wouldn't have been able to do it but there's most tops are just simply attached with screws so it was really easy to take it off but anyway okay all right guys I'm gonna hop off of here you guys enjoy the rest of your night